which relation is not a function. So let's have a quick review on this. Which relation is not a function? So I'll give you a few choices. Let me start with mapping diagrams. I hope you remember what mapping diagrams is. That is, we have a set here and the other set is there. Let us say there are some elements in each one of them and this is how they are related. Okay, now let me write down some numbers here and let us say this is our set A and the numbers are let's say 1, 2, 3 and let's say this is capital A and we have arrows pointing in this direction. Now, you have to figure out whether this relation is a function or not a function, right? So let me give you one more choice here and this time let me make some, some something like this similar to what we have drawn but this time I will make different kind of equation and that is like this right now here again I'll write some numbers let us say the numbers are 1 2 3 and here I'm writing A B C D and the arrows are like this correct so you need to figure out whether this relation is a function or not right so one more choice now remember one thing you can have more than one right answers here right or more than one incorrect answers what you have to really write down is which relation is not a function right so that is what you have to write okay let's go back and here is one more question for you so this time I am doing it like this. Okay, now, now here what we have is that we again have arrow kind of like this. And let's say the numbers are 1 and 2 and here I have A, B, C, D. And this is the last choice for you and that is D, right? Now, I hope you are getting it. You need to just figure out from these choices given to you which relation is not a function, right? So you say whether this is a function or not. If it is not a function, then that is your choice, right? So that is what we are trying to figure out, right? Now, so once we have this, let me let me make one more here and this time I'll make it like this. Okay, that's fine. Now, let's say the numbers are 1, 2, 3, and this is A for us, and the arrow is like this, right? So you need to figure out which one of these is not a function. Remember, you can have more than one solution, right? That means there is a possibility that more than one may be right, okay? So, figure that out. Now, let's do another set of relations this time I will use equations right so equations I'll give you four equations a let me now say a b c d e f g h okay e f g and h right so I'll give you four different equations you need to figure out out of those which one is not a function okay so the first one is x square minus y equals to 1 second one is x plus y times x minus y equals to 0 and then we have x equals to 1 and then we have y equals to 0 right so out of these you have to figure out which one is not a function okay now great so you think about it and i'll draw something something more for you a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and we'll have I, J, K. Three more choices for you. This time, I'll give you a function in the form, let's say relation, R, X equals to. Now, this time, I'll give you in the set form. And let's say the coordinate points are 2, 3, 3, 4, 0, 1. Okay then let's say this is p and in this case uh, the set is 0 1 2 1 3 2 and then we have one which is r 
let's see, which is 1, 2, minus 1, 1, and then we have 1, 5. So we have to figure out which one of these is not a function. Great. And now I'll give you some graph. Okay. L, let me sketch a graph for you. So let us say that the graph is kind of like this. And then we have here M, which is another graph for you. And this graph this time is kind of like this. Okay, so we have different types of relations here. These are the mapping diagrams and then we have the equations and then we have in the set form giving Cartesian coordinates in between, right? And here we have few graphs. Now all of these you have to figure out which relations are not functions, okay? I hope by now you got all your answers, right? Now let's go through them one by one and see how to find whether the given relation is a function or not a function, right? So when we are saying that a relation is a function or it is not a function, what we are trying to say? A function is something where every input is associated with a unique output, right? So you cannot have an input associated with more than one output. That is what it is, right? Now in this case, this input has or the domain or the elements in this set should be associated with only one, right? So one is associated with A, two is associated with A, three is associated with A. So this is a function, right? We are looking for not a function. Well, this is a function, okay? And how about this? Now here, all elements in this group, since the arrow, you have to see the arrow carefully, it is from A to 1, correct? B to 2. So they have, this is a function, okay? Now here, in this case, what we see, again, similar kind of thing. So this is also a function. But in part D, A is associated with 3. And therefore, this is not a function, right? So let me highlight this. Okay, so let's say this is not a function, okay? Now, out of these, which are equations, we could always write here y is equals 2. So, if I take y here, x square minus 1. So, it is a unique thing. So, it is a function. So, that's correct. How about this one? If we multiply this, we get x square minus y square equals to 0. And if you solve for y, we get y equals 2 plus minus x, right? So, that is not a function so so is this so what we look for is x y square to find y we have to do square root square root of x square is x but whenever I do square root you have to do plus and minus correct so this one is not a function how about this x equals to one what does it mean really x equals to one if you graph this x equals to one what are you going to get you are going to get a vertical line at 1, right? So this is x equals to 1. That point is 1. As you can see, it is not a function. It fails vertical line test, right? So this is also not a function. Now, how about y equals to 0? If I have to sketch y equals to 0, it means what? For every value of x, y is 0. That means it is a horizontal line the x-axis. Well, it is a function, right? It passes vertical line test. So that is kind of, oh sorry. So that is a function. So we are looking for not a function, right? It passes vertical line test. This is a function. Okay. Now let's look into these sets. Now in these sets, when we say it is not a function, that means if we have two values of two, I mean two repeated values, in the x coordinates, then it is not a function. Now here, there is no repetition. So these are functions. Here again, no repetition. But in this case, one and one. So one is associated with two and also with five. And therefore, this is not a function, correct? 
so that is another solution to which relation is not a function now for a graph we have to draw a vertical line and if it crosses at two points here it does so so this is not a function right so likewise we can figure out from the given relations which relations are not a function correct so we get how many solutions in this case this is one then we have this then we have x equals to one and k equals to this right so with this variety of relations i hope the concept of which one is not a function is absolutely clear to you right so go through this video once again and try to understand how we figured out in different forms of relations whether they are function or not right let's go back so if it is a graph then you are doing what vertical line test right so this is vertical line test this fails vertical line test and therefore it is not a function in this case what are you doing you are seeing that x coordinates are repeating right so repeat it x coordinate right therefore it is not a function here it fails vertical line test right so therefore this is not a function here you're looking for y square if you get y square in the equation then y will be square root of plus and minus right so if you solve for this then you have y square equals to x square and y equals to plus minus square root of x square correct so when you do this you get plus and minus here that means that means that there are two values right which y can have for x value so that gives you that this is not a function and in this case very clear a is associated with more than one and therefore this is not a function correct so you have to look at the arrows arrows are from this set a is to one two in this these cases right so it is not always that the arrows will be pointing from left to right they could be from right to left also right so that's kind of important to know when you look into your test paper i hope this helps Thank you and all the best.